In just eight weeks, Tennessee lawmakers will return to the Capitol for a special session on public safety. Discussions on gun laws and mental health are expected to come in the wake of the Covenant School shooting in Nashville. The special session has not been popular, though, among some Republicans, including some who have called on the governor to cancel it. Don Janko joins us in studio this evening with more on two Republican lawmakers from our region who want this session to be productive. Yeah, Ansley, I spoke with Washington County, Tennessee representatives Rebecca Alexander and Tim Hicks. Both lawmakers say there is a middle ground between protecting Second Amendment rights and keeping the public safe. They want to bring something to the table and have been in discussion with local stakeholders about Tennessee's current gun laws. I think we need to wrestle with it. Um, Washington County did not elect me to go down there and say, Let's gavel out, not do anything. While some Republican lawmakers have publicly said they won't play ball at the special session, Washington County's representatives Rebecca Alexander and Tim Hicks want to come educated. It's going to be a lot to cover in a short amount of time. This is an important issue and we just want to be prepared uh, for what our constituents think. Between the two lawmakers, they have spoke with law enforcement, judges, mental health professionals, local lawmakers, and criminal justice professors about what can be done. Washington County Commissioner Jody Jones, a Democrat, spoke with Alexander ahead of the session. I think it shows um, that they have picked up on the groundswell of cross-party desire to see something done in our state to make make us safer. At the center of the special session is Governor Lee's order of protection proposal. That proposal would enforce temporary court ordered forfeitures of guns from people deemed to be a threat to themselves and others. I don't see that going very far in, in, the, in the legislatures. Uh, I don't think it would be something that I could vote for. It. While Hicks does not agree with Lee's proposal, Alexander says there are modifications to the order of protection that can still maintain Second Amendment rights. We can do some things like volunteer give up your guns if you are a threat to someone. Jones recommended to Alexander separate mental health from dangerousness on the order of protection proposal. Some people who have mental health problems become dangerous, but dangerousness is not part of mental health. Despite his opposition to the proposal, Hicks does have ideas for the session. He proposed restricting those turning 18 years old but were convicted of a crime from possessing guns. We can set up systems to really look at adolescents and students and juveniles in the justice system and set up ways to where those folks, it would be illegal for them to purchase or have a gun. Representative Hicks says he has not drafted any legislation on that proposal. He says people impacted by that proposal would be able to own guns if they maintain a clean record by age 24. Again, that special session starts August 21st.